Hello everyone, welcome back to Shorecode. In this video, I will be teaching you about scope. I have lots of experience in Python and by the end of this video you'll know what scope is and how to use it properly. So a variable is only available from inside the region it is created. This is called scope. What I mean by this is, for example, if you have a variable inside a function, you can only access that variable from inside the function, and that variable is local to that function. So if we have a function, just define my func, x equals 5, print x, my func, and run it, you can see we get 5. But what happens if we were to move this print statement from inside the function to outside the function? x is not defined, because this x variable inside this function only exists inside of this function. It's a local variable belonging to this function. This is what we call local scope. If we wanted to get this value from the function, we could just return it. Return x, and then we could do... Uh, x equals my func print x and there we go now let's make a nested function so define my uh, my func too yeah we can have functions inside of functions then we can print x y equals to print y then let's call my func too then my func run that and we get 5 and 2 so the inner function can access variables that belong to the outer function and it can also access its own variables but then if we were to print y you can see y is not defined this is because y only exists in this function now let's talk about global scope if a variable is created in the main part of the Python code, it is called a global variable and belongs to the global scope. And these are available from within any scope, global and local. So if we just do x equals 7, define my func, print x, my func, we get 7, because this function can access the global variable. If you are enjoying the video or are finding it useful, please do drop a like, it really does help me out. Anyway, naming variables. Alright, let's just make a equal to 7, then define my func a equals 2, print a, print a, my func. What do you think is going to happen? We'll get 7 and 2 because we're printing out A up here, which is 7. And then we're printing out A here. So as far as this print statement is concerned, A doesn't exist. Because this is part of the global scope and this is local scope. But we can still print A here because A is defined inside this function. So these just don't override each other because they're in separate scopes. Alright, let's now talk about a global keyword. If you need to create a global variable, but you're in the local scope, you can use the global keyword. And this makes the variable global. So let's just get rid of this. Let's do define func f equals 20. If we print f, we get an error because f isn't defined. But if we do global f, so we've made this global, but now we need to call the function so it exists. And then we get 20. Because if we don't have the function, it doesn't exist. But if we do have the function, it does exist. So you can also use a global keyword if you want to make a change to a global variable inside the function. So if we have like f equals 30, print f. We get 30 and then 20. This global keyword and this f equals 20 overrides this global variable here and then changes it to 20. However, I wouldn't recommend using the global keyword. If you just want to give a function a global variable, you should just pass it in as an argument like this if we wanted to give it. If we wanted to give it f, we could just func f. 
Point F. Then point F. You know, it's just a lot easier that way. And if you wanted to get a local variable back from the function, you should just return it. So we could modify f plus equals, equals 10, return f, and then we could do print. That way we get 40. So this way, using arguments and returning it, it doesn't get really confusing because when you start mixing up local and global variables, it does get quite complicated. So I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, that's pretty much it for scope. If you have any questions or comments about this, leave it in the comments section, I'll be sure to reply. If you would like to support me, all you have to do is give this video a like, it really does help me out. Also consider subscribing, I upload Python content almost every day. That's it from me, cheers and goodbye.